Hey YouTube, um, coming to you from my garage today. It is absolutely freezing cold today. Um, and um, the reason why I'm um, doing a video today is that my cousin, who um, just been to America, has brought back a nice little parcel for me, which uh, I've had some stuff which I'd ordered online in America for some time, sitting around in America waiting for somebody to bring it back. And lo and behold, he came back last night, um, went over to get my bag, and I'm a bit like a kid in a candy shop at the moment, so I'm really excited to uh, get into the stuff. I know roughly what's there, but um, I've never seen it, and um, I'm really excited. Um, there's some a couple of uh, estate pipes which I bought from the Joe Case sale, which he held online um, a few weeks ago. Um, so I managed to snatch a couple of those pipes, which um, I only caught a very small glimpse of online, so I'm quite excited to see those. Um, and I've got a custom-made pot, which was made by ordered from Paul Menard of Paul's Pipes, and I'm really, really stoked and excited to see that one and see how that worked out, because that one I saw a clip on, on Instagram, but again, it, it, you can't compare it to seeing it in the flesh. Um, besides for that, a couple of bits and pieces, um, uh, mainly tobacco. So um, I'm going to delve into my little bag here and see what we've got. So there's a couple of um, tobaccos I've been waiting to try for some time. Um, I've been a big fan, as some of you might know, of uh, Cult Blood Red Moon cherry tobacco. So I've ordered some of that. Um, the cult abacus to see what that's like so I've got more than a couple of tins of that so that is probably what I'm going to try first um, in a few minutes and I've also ordered a couple of tins of uh, Torben Dansk Blue Note um, I came across that on reviews of being an aromatic um, that's had some really favourable reviews. I've not come across anybody who's tried it yet, so I'm hoping I haven't bought a dud. Um, so I'll let you know how that goes. That's that. <sighs> BJ Long. A couple of bags of pipe cleaners. And this is one also which that was a uh, bat in the hat, again recommended by um, the Dagners. Um, so, quite excited to try that one out as well, but I imagine I'm going to go for the Abacus first, but I'll let you know how that goes. Some Savinelli filters. Okay, so this is the main purpose of the video, which is some pipes. Okay. Right, that's presumably the Paul's pipe pipe. Paul's pipe pipe. Okay, so we got a Paul's pipe sticker. Oh. A little softy and a button. Which is very sweet. And a little card from Paul's pipes. Enjoy, my friend. And I hope to very well do so. Okay, so. Let's have a look at the pipe. Very excited. Whoa. Look at that stem. Whoa. Man. Oh my gosh. Just look at that stem first of all. Get some focus on there. Look at the swirly work on that. That 
very stunning. You know, when I saw the, the Instagram clip, I, I just wasn't sure if it was actually kind of what I'd ordered, if it was what I had in mind and that kind of thing, but like everything, when you see it in the flesh, it just blows your mind that somebody's actually done it with their bare hands, something which they've done specifically for you. flame grain there, beautifully stained, nice colouring. I asked for a bit of a darker stain. And yeah, then if you can see the detail on the top of the bowl, you've got a very sort of light, kind of unusual uh, I don't know what that is, if it's a rustication of some kind, but he's just done some kind of uh, detail work there. And then you've got uh, some of the plateau on the top. And he's done the same kind of matching detail there on the shank. The detail there is just phenomenal. The button on it is pretty amazing too. Oops. It's a very nice fit, really smooth, goes in lovely. Yeah, it's quite a big bowl, quite a decent diameter. Right, let's see what else we've got here. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. I did ask him for a church warden stem to go with it. And look at that. Beautiful. That is something else. I've got to stick that on and see how that looks. So, look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable, that is unreal. But it actually works. It works very, very well. I love that. That is just something else. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try a bit of abacus. Oh, before I forget, you've got to, I've uh, got another one of these bags. You've got to buy one of Paul's Pipes pipes in order to get one of Paul's Pipes pipe bag. Real leather, soft leather, homemade by him. And they're just a quality on their own. I've got loads of different bags, different types, leather ones as well, pleather ones. You just can't beat his, they're just the smell of leather. It's just really addictive, great stuff. I almost can't bring myself to smoke this thing. Beautiful, beautiful pipe. That has got a very sort of caramelly kind of smell, spicy, cinnamony, chocolatey kind of smell. Um, I haven't looked at the description actually, one second. Cult Abacus has so many nuances, you might not be able to count them all. This blend of Burley's, Virginia's and Black Cavendish features smooth and sweet notes of vanilla, that's what it was, vanilla, roasted nuts and cocoa in a gentle smoking mixture. Being aromatic, that's kind of a bit of a dream come true, so I should really dry it out a bit before I give it a go, but, you know, let's just stick a little bit in to get it going. Paul's pre-carbonized it, so there is a bit of uh, black coating on in there, so that'll get things going nicely. 
Here we go. Well, it's early days. I'll have to have a few bowls in there to see uh, how that goes, beef, um, how that's gone. And I'll come back to you on that hopefully at some point. Um, yeah, one other thing in the bag which I forgot to mention is a nice little tamper, um, which I think is from Rough Woodworks if not, or Rough Works, something like that. Which uh, it's got a, a Luger nine millimeter thing on the end, bullet thing on the casing on the end. So it's a tamper come pick at the same time, which is really handy. I'm looking forward to using that. Anyway, that's me out. Thank you very much and uh, see you again soon.